Okay, so here we go. I'm back again. This time, I'm reacting to the um, reacting to the match a little bit more blindly than last time because I actually don't know the formations. I don't know the players. I didn't actually get to look at that because I've been really busy. All, I've been at the airport all day. I just didn't get a chance to look at it. Um, I got to the airport kind of late actually, so I, I went through the check the security checkpoints like you know. 20 minutes before my flight uh, even started boarding. So here we go, AFC Wimbledon versus Gillingham. Um, just... Got the extended highlights here. It's about nine minutes long. So, so far we have got... Uh, Daniel, is that Daniel Chaka? Oh, he gives it away, actually. Oh, okay, that's a really bad opportunity. Oh, wow. Okay, he actually, uh, number 19, Shock, I think it was his name, could have actually dished it out to the top of the box there, but instead he takes it on himself. A really bad mistake early on from Daniel Chaka, um, who is going to be playing instead of uh, Ben Hennigan. Uh, it's going to be Chaka and Nightingale as the two uh, center-back pairings here. So, next slide, please. Woodyard plays a ball towards Mibude. Ball kind of hangs in the air a little bit. He wins it. Top of the 18. Wins the free kick. All right. Depo Mabude is going to be starting alongside Aaron Presley, the two substitutes. Uh, so I'm guessing we're playing kind of a 4-3-1-2, perhaps. All right. We have got... Oof, oh, Henry Lawrence is in there, too. We got plenty of changes from the last game. Lawrence. Okay. Free kick off the wall. T decides to take it upon himself once again. Decent power on the shot, but not uh, the placement there as the keeper was able to comfortably collect that. So we got, yeah, four major substitutes. The two strikers, of course, Mabude and Presley. We got Henry Lawrence coming in as well as uh, Daniel Chuka. So here we go. Left hand side here. We got Ayuba Sell. Paul Ossie was that? Yeah, Paul Ossie as well. I mean, we changed the entire squad, it seemed. Okay. Woodyard going to chip the ball into the box there. Okay. Floats it towards Nightingale. Daniel Chaka with a shot from the outside of the box. Okay. Nice. Dapu Mabude coming in to help. What a strike there by Mabude. Just over and to the side of the bar. That was nicely done for, there for Mabude to come back and collect the ball, take a touch. And yeah, it was a brilliant effort there. Almost on frame. Yeah, just looking at the replay there. Yeah, very quickly gets back to uh, to receive that ball. Very nicely struck. Only one thought on his mind, that was to shoot. And shoot, he did. Daniel Chaka get, kind of gets caught up there on the, on the uh, kick from the goalkeeper there. Not goal kick, he just received the ball at the, the inside of the 18-yard box. Woodyard defending. Ooh, good save there by Zanev. Kind of a routine save there. It was kind of it was right at him, but it was with pace, so had to get a decent connection on that. Almost gives up the rebound, but I mean it was a reaction save, so nicely done there from Nick Zanev. Also, again, since I'm reacting to this blindly due to the fact that I was busy, I didn't get to check the lineups and whatnot. I don't know the players from Gillingham. I don't know their names. Ayuba Sal collects it after a partial clearance there from Gillingham. I'm oh, sorry, Marsh. And now it's Asal on the ball uh, on the left-hand side. Ooh. Also, George Marsh in there, too. So that's a grand total of seven changes. Let's go, AFC Wimbledon. That's the, that's the thing. We have the depth this season uh, that was quite lacking in uh, seasons prior. Maybe last season we had a little bit of depth, but not as nearly as much as this season i know we had the likes of like you know shane and harrison ayuba sal who is initially a uh, player that came off the bench last season who is now a prominent starter here for afc wimbledon but we have plenty of players and we have plenty of lineup shifts that we can make here anyway um alex woodyard defending here concedes the foul on the left hand side i don't know which minute this is but i'm still the first half here still the first half Nice header. Ooh. Nice header away there by Daniel Chaka. Nicely done to win the header there. Uh, so far, not the best start for Chaka, but uh, he was able to win the header, and then number 11 there was able to strike it first time there with his left foot. Decent connection on it. Zanev almost had trouble dealing with that, actually, because it went through a crowd of people, but in the end, he was able to collect it. 
second half here. First half, a eh, couple of half chances from both sides. Mambude with a really good, uh, really good strike. Actually, a good attempt from him. Callum Bai is on the field again as well. Oh, my four G just decided to fuck up again. Both teams with a couple of chances. Uh, Mabude with a really good strike, actually, in the first half. Probably the best chance of the half so far um, from both sides combined here. Also, Callum Bailly's in, too. Did he sub in uh, right after the half ended? Okay, free kick one there by Ubisell. Nightingale hoosts the ball upfield. Henry Lawrence winning that header. Oh, nice quick speed there by Ethan Chislett, who also comes on as well. Oh, that's just barely outside the box, I think. Calls a penalty, though. Wait, no, it's... Wait, I actually didn't get to see. No, he pointed He pointed straight towards the goal, not down to the penalty spot. My bad there. But nicely done there. That was Oh, double yellow, actually. That's a double yellow. Let's go. Nice header there, won by Henry Lawrence, and very quick acceleration there from Ethan Chisla to be able to pick that up. It was sort of a 50-50 opportunity, but his qu uh, pace and quickness was too much for the defender who stuck his leg out and brought him down. Okay, a sal top of the box, gets it to Woodyard, about 30 yards out right now. Takes a couple touches towards the top of the box. Nice little ball in. You should have done better, bro. That was uh, Ethan Chislett on the receiving end there. Should have done better. That was a nice run by Chislett. Nicely done by uh, by Woodyard to pick him out. But that was a really, really weak effort. Straight at the goalkeeper's legs. And he was able to just dive down and collect. Yeah. Ethan Chislett should have done better there. Okay. Woodyard receives it there from... Uh, I actually forgot. Okay, so Henry Lawrence on the right-hand side here. Back to Woodyard. He, okay, back post maybe. Back post maybe, no. Like Instead, he gets it to a Sal on the right. Back to Lawrence. Knocking around here, just staying patient, Wimbledon. Trying to find an opportunity. Back ball back over to the left-hand side here for Jack Rodoni, who came on as a substitute. Really good ball from Adoni. Woo! Let's go. Let's go, Ollie Palmer. Ollie freaking Palmer coming in as a sub as well. I don't know how many... How many changes we made? I mean, Palmer and Rodoni coming on as substitutes. They were the starters in the last game. Uh, but really good ball from Jack Rodoni. My God. That was just dangerously whipped in. And top of the six, Ollie Palmer is always going to get there. If you give him an inch, he will put it in. He is the target man after all. Ollie Palmer. Let's go. Come on. Just from the fact... Okay, last chance here coming in from Gillingham. Shot coming in from the top of the six. Deflected and into the back of the net. Unbelievable, dude. I don't believe it. I don't believe it, bro. Uh, Daniel Chaka won the header. Wasn't fully cleared. Shot at the top of the... 18. I think that might have deflected off Callum Bailly, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, what a disappointment. Oh, man. From what I, from what I saw, AFC Wimbledon played very well. Uh, wait a second. Is there more to the story here? Daniel Chaka. Uh, I, they included that last clip in there. I thought for sure it was going to be a last-minute winner, but the game ends 1-1. Very disappointing. Yeah, I mean, this feels more like a win for Gillingham than it. Obviously, it's a it's, it was a draw in the end, but it feels more like a win for Gillingham and a loss for AFC Wimbledon. Wimbledon looked to me like they did dominate. Uh, the first half was back and forth, but the second half was all Wimbledon. It seems, but that's a shame. It really is. Um, you know, I can't really I can't really fault uh, the defending that much from what I saw last game. It was pretty sketchy at times. 
with uh, the likes of Will Nightingale and Chad Alexander losing their marks on a couple of occasions. It looked to me like their back line was a little bit more solid, just looking at the highlights here, but that's disappointing. It really is. Two points dropped. Uh, again, I don't really have that much of an analysis to provide because, I didn't. again, I didn't watch the whole game. I was pretty busy today, but, um, you know, I like what I'm seeing, though. I, I really do like what I'm seeing. I like the fact that we possess a lot of depth and that we can we have three strikers that can that can put in the work and Presley, Mabude, and, and Palmer. Uh, Jack Radoni, he can he can start. He can come off the bench. I think at times you should have him on the bench, not every single time, obviously, because he does have the the skill, the flair, and you know, quite frankly, a very high ceiling, Jack Radoni. Uh, but you know, you could have him come off the bench at times, as he does. Um, you know, he's very good one v one. So I think if you were to put him on when everyone else has tired legs, I know, I I know he could uh, he could be a decent player. Daniel Chaka, a little bit sketchy at first, but for the for the most part, towards the end, I think he defended pretty well. Uh, you know, won some headers. Uh, positioning was all right. Overall, just disappointing, really. Um, you know, it happens. It happens. That's all I have to say about that. Uh, so on Saturday, again, I'm going to have to do another one of these reaction videos. I'm going to be going to Cedar Point. It's an amusement park in uh, Sandusky, Ohio. Uh, one of, if not the most popular theme parks in the United States. So I'm going to be doing yet another one of those reaction videos toward uh, the end of the day. So stay tuned for that, everybody. Come on, you don'ts.